Kate Cook. To understand how important our extended families are in the heart of God, one must look at his footprints in scripture, for there we can see his heart. Today, as we pray for our extended families, let's remember that in scripture, God shows us his desire is for us to live in community. When he saved Noah, he saved the whole family, not just Noah. In Acts 10, when the first Gentile, Cornelius, was converted, God saved him and his whole household. Then in Acts 16 in Philippi, the jailer who wanted to be saved when a miracle happened, Paul and Silas said to him, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, you and your household. The whole family is at the heart of God's heart. It's where we give and receive love, support, fellowship, and protection. It is also the structure that causes us to learn to forgive, be humble, and be kind. We know that sin separates us from God and others. We often hold many things more valuable than making sure that we are cleansed and pure before the Lord. The family is his proving ground for growing and being able to walk in Christian principles so that our families may be blessed and be a light in this world to others. In my own family, we experience the separation that comes from sin. My brother and an uncle bought a business together and when the business failed, blame, accusations, and bitterness set in. It separated them for the rest of their lives. They never cleared the air and forgave each other. Rather than having to be right, we can appropriate God's grace and forgiveness and protect that love that's in our families. Let us pray. Today, O oh Lord, we pray to receive your grace to repent of any separation in our families. Only you, O oh God, can give us the love we need to cover a multitude of sins. Please bring healing to our families to bless, strengthen, and protect them. In Jesus' name, amen.